Welcome, folks. We are back here in the C Team game on Pond Creek. We have rivalry game here on DD Sports Network Middle School Monday. Pikeville versus Belfry. Jason Norman, Daryl McCoy on the call. Want to think? Trailhead Bar and Grill, Mingo County Family Wellness Center, Cezanne Mexican Restaurant, Southside Steakhouse, Co Grove Funeral Home, Markham Law Office, Three Guys Pizza and Brew, Cheech's Pizza, Williamson Pharmacy and Trailblazers Outfitters for sponsoring today's action. <laughs> Norman, we just dropped double quick player of the week, and it goes to Belfry running back Kadem Woolen. Five touchdowns down in Jackson on Friday night that uh, helped Belfry to a big win over the Breathitt County Bobcats. Oh, dude, that was huge. I thought that game would actually be a lot closer, but uh, Caden Woolen put on a show Seeing Chase Varney throw touchdowns at Belfry, yeah. you, you ain't seen That's that. That's rare. Since, yeah. you, you ain't seen that since probably Jonathan Wright. Uh, yeah, but. I'm glad though. Yeah, I'm glad they're throwing a little bit and Chase is getting because he's every bit as talented as every other quarterback. He just don't get the opportunities. Yeah. Now who do we got jumping here? That's Cadence Chapman. That's Callie Deskins with the ball. Okay. Deskins throws up shot, no good. Norman gets the rebound and draws the foul. Now. Number four, that's that's Miley Colgrove. Yep. Uh, double zero, Macy Lester. Number three, Callie Deskins. Number 20 for Belfry's Cadence Chapman. And all the way back, number 32, that's Kylie Rogers. Now, there's Colgrove got hit in the back with it. Here comes Con. Con had a great C team game, or D team game, and uh, she's back at it here in C team action. Yeah, Pikeville C team, they they add one kid. Pikeville's only got one sixth grader. And uh, so, let me, that's, that's Lexi Wales. Uh, she's a transfer for Mullins. So she has herself a little uh, homecoming game tomorrow night. I believe Pikeville is playing at, uh, Mul uh, not Mullins, but Millard. Sorry. So here you got double zeros, Lester. Chapman's 20. Cogrove's four. Threes, Deskins. Three is Deskins. And 10 is Lester. And 32. Lester's double zero, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's get, Wales with the ball there. Yeah. Yep, going to get called for a travel. Wales. Number 10. Yep. Here comes Cogrove. Cogrove with the hesitation dribble. Nice job using every bit of that length to get that scoop shot off. Con. She, she is long, man. She's very long, and she's long with guard skills. That's what makes her dangerous. Norman splits the defense, but the double team was waiting on her. They're going to draw the foul, I think. They're going to get it on Deskins or Lester there. No, I think they called that. I think he called that on Colgrove. That would be her second foul if that's oh, on her. Yeah, I don't know about that being on Colgrove. I thought I seen him put up a four, but. There's Norman from the elbow, no good. Left that one short. And we're going to have Chapman inbound the ball. There she gets it to Deskins. Over to Cogrove. Here comes Cogrove. Nice job, Cogrove. Just splitting the defense like a sharp knife on the hot butter. Listen, when Cogrove gets into, uh, when she gets into high school, I mean, she keeps growing. Her dad's tall. Uh, I mean, <laughs> she's going to be trouble, man, for this, matchups in high school. This girl is good. You know, it's very rare. You know, uh, I think she's the only fifth grader to ever be invited to the D&D &D Sports Network All-Star Game. Yeah, and that's, that's a big honor because you got the best players in the sixth grade class and Cogrove found a way to get on that roster. Swings it over. Turnover. Yeah, Deskins. Here comes Deskins, full steam ahead. Kicks it up to Cogrove. Cogrove ball fake. She gets the rebound and the putback. Right now, you know, I mean, Wells and Norman, they're plenty big enough. One of them's going to have to put a body on Cogrove. Norman. Gets stopped at half court. She hands it over to Con. Con looking for the shot from the elbow. Cogrove steals the ball and 
off to the races. Good job, D, uh, coming back and defending the shot by Norman. Ooh. Didn't get the lost track over there as she takes a hard bump. Con takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Norman inbounding the ball. She's looking for Con, but bad pass. Yeah. And that's Deskins. Deskins kicks it up court. Cogrove. Good hesitation move there. Yeah, yeah that's kind of her go-to moves, that little hezzy. Dennis, Dennis is getting his uh, <laughs> steps call in this ball game now. He ain't going to let anybody else have all the credit. Norman. Con. Good job coming over. Cogrove. Almost had the steal there. Belfry still applying pressure here. As they're sitting on a six nothing lead with 132 to go here in the first quarter. Bring them wool them into the game. Throws it up to Norman. Double team coming. There, retreat dribble, but there's pirates all over. Nothing she could do about that. And one, Cogrove going to the line for a chance at old-fashioned three-point play. You know, and it, it's really, you know, I mean, Norman's going to get credit for a turnover, but there's nothing you can do, you know. I mean, there was the double team waiting on her, and then Cogrove never let up and ended up coming away with it. She's got to get some help down there. You know, I, I don't know that uh, if I'm powerful that – I ain't trying to uh, let Con, because they're focusing on Norman. I'd probably let Con bring the ball up here. Go high arc and shot, a little short on that one. Here comes the Deskins. Nice Good pass. Luck by Deskins. Yeah, she hit Woolen, but Woolen couldn't convert. Coming back the other way, Norman. Uh, right there, Cogrove with another steal. And credit Norman not giving up, but Deskins was right there to uh, get the put back in the bucket. Another steal. High off the glass. Cogrove fighting for it on the ground. That's going to be jump ball with 37 seconds to go. 11 point lead for the Belfry Pirates. See Coach Orm over there talking to Norman. Yeah, and this has got to be hard for Norman because you know these girls have been talking a little bit of smack where she's from, Pond Creek. Yeah, and, and, uh, and this was the group she was actually playing with when she was over here. So yeah, so the uh, uh oh, nice rebound. 29 seconds to go. Chapman missed the shot, and uh, it's going to be another jump ball. Pikeful with 29 seconds is going to have the ball. Pikeful needs to get some points on the board here before the end of the quarter. Woolham with the steal. Good move. Kiara Woolham couldn't convert on that one. Here comes Norman. And I still don't understand why they ain't getting con the ball here in this situation. There's con. He's going to draw the foul. It was funny if you paid attention that Dennis was going to make the walking <laughs> move. He, he, it's just in his blood. He went to do it and then he grabbed his wrist. Norman uh, right here. Powerful has to take advantage of these opportunities here uh, from the free throw line when, when they get them. Yep. Yeah, For I mean, because right now on the floor, you've got a fourth grader, another fourth grader, yeah. JC's a fifth grader, Lexi is a sixth grader, and I believe we've got another, I can't remember if she's a fourth or a uh, fourth or a fifth. Con hits the first, misses the second. Pikeful with the rebound, draws another foul. Now here we go, Billy Chambers watching from West Union, Ohio. We got Casey Matney new, says Miley Cogrove all day with those layups. Got former Belfry Pirate, Kylie uh, Stanley tuning in. Gonna be out of bounds, ball's gonna go to the Pirates. Kylie Stanley says, let's go, JC. 
Guys, if you missed the uh, D-team game, you better go back and watch it. Great game. That's going to end the first quarter of action. It's going to be 11 to nothing. Belfry with the lead over the Pikeville Panthers. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. If you're looking for a great selection and a great experience for your next Harley-Davidson, come on down to Mount Say Harley-Davidson here in Del Barton, West Virginia. We have new 2023 models in stock and ready for delivery. Special financing available. Or choose pre-owned with one of the largest inventories in the tri-state area with great low prices. Visit our showroom filled with licensed Harley-Davidson apparel and more. Don't write that check until you check with us, Mountain State Harley-Davidson, 61 Priest Bottom Road, or visit us online at mountainstatehd.com. Looking for a great selection, great prices, and a great experience on your next ATV, motorcycle, or side, side Come check out Kiefer's Kawasaki. Our number one goal is to offer you the best power sport experience at a great price. Like this, new 23 Kawasaki Terex 4 for only $17,999. Before you write that check, check with us. And remember, your adventure starts here at Kiefer Kawasaki. Route 44 South, Jerry West Highway in Logan, or visit KieferSpowerSports.net. You're looking for the best Mexican restaurant in Mingo County. Stop by Cezanne in Williamson, West Virginia. We got great service and great food, and we look forward to taking care of you. Come see us at Cezanne. Southside Steakhouse today and try some of their delicious entrees. They want to wish the Belfry Pirates and all mountain athletes the best of luck. When you lose a loved one, you want to be able to grieve in peace without having to worry about that heavy funeral home bill over your head. Come see us at Cogrove Funeral Home and let us help you through your trying times. And we are back here in Belfry, Kentucky, as we got Belfry on top of Pikeville, 11 to nothing. Middle School Monday on the D&D Sports Network. Jason Norman, Daryl McCoy, Maynard. Off the mark on that one. Norman grabs the rebound. Here comes Norman bringing the ball up the floor. A double team comes, but she went the other direction and draws the foul. Great job being strong with the basketball there by Norman. She's going to have a chance at the charity stripe. See if she listens about how to shoot a foul shot. <laughs> Guys, make sure you hit that like and share button for us at home. Get them numbers up. You can watch this on YouTube, Facebook, or dndsports.com. Well, Dennis called a jump, and the official that it belonged to his call called a walk. Officials discussing it here, trying to figure out what they're going to do. Looks like Dennis is going to give Belfry the ball. Derek Bevins walking by with some nachos. Bobby Varney with a hot dog, not stopping to offer the D&D team anything to eat. Oh, oh thank my. you, Bob, no. Legendary no. Bobby Varney there. Yep. You know, back in the high school days, they always called him Heartthrob Bob. <laughs> Heartthrob. Oh. Oh, Bob. Been my friend, man, since we could, I mean, five, not even five years old. I know uh, you and him played for uh, Belfry Principal Keith May on them legendary Turkey Creek teams. Oh, yeah. Now, here Coach, we go. He's, pr he's Principal May now, but yep. he'll always be Coach May to me. Great man. There you go. Nice job, Belfry with the steal. Kiara Wollum bringing the ball up the floor for the Pirates. 
She takes it all the way, throws shot up off the backboard, no good, rebound Chapman, no good. Chapman falls in the hands again. Norman comes away with it. She brings the ball up the floor, taking advantage of not having pressure. Norman draws another foul. Great job drawing fouls here. Now she has to make the Pirates pay for it. Has to. The uh, That's been kind of the Achilles heel, uh, Achilles heel here for this Pikeville team. They've not shot the ball from the free throw line very well at all here in this game. No, and that matters. I mean, that mattered last game. I mean, if they would have made well, their free throws. and it, it especially matters when you're getting limited shots on go. Yeah. You know, and uh, you got to take advantage of your opportunities. So, you know, if they, if they would have hit their free throws, I mean, this could be a five-point game right now. Yeah. Nice block. Coming back the other direction, Cogrove. She ain't it. slowing down. That's, that's Deskins. Or it's Deskins. Oh, Deskins high off the backboard. Wells with the rebound. Yep. Going to call a foul, I believe, on Woolen. Callie Deskins, I think she's got some, a good teacher at home. Kevin Deskins. And he is the Belfry High School coach. Yep. And she looks like she's grown since last time I seen her last year. She looks like she's grown a few inches. She definitely got some skill, that's for sure. She's fast as lightning, man. She, I mean, I remember when I was over here how fast she was. And I see Kevin out there doing sled drills with her, ladder drills with her. You won't see anybody with any quicker feet. Looks like he's down here filming right now. Wells, free throw line. See if she can get one to fall. Oh, that rose right. Deskins kicks it up court. Lester, she's gonna be off her hands. Pikeville will retain possession here. Gotta get some points on the board. Gotta find a way to get some offense going here. Con, double team comes. One and one, I believe. Pikeville's yeah. in the bonus. So, I mean, right here's how they get See, back in this game, Daryl. I, I mean, if they'd hit these free throws, it, I mean, it could be a tight ball game right here yeah. if she'd make ease. There she Great. makes that one. Good job by Khan connecting on that one. That's her second free throw of the day. She's got. Uh, both points for the Panthers here today as Belfry is leading 11 to two in this one. Middle School Monday on D&D Sports. Cogrove comes down with the board. Got to get back and try to stop ball with her. You know, great job by Cogrove. You know, one thing I've noticed is, you know, when she's dribbling up floors, you know, she's ahead of her age. You know, she's always like a great ball handler should looking up for the court. Well, her dad told me, I believe this weekend, we got a AAU tournament. Her dad was telling me she's going to be playing up seventh grade. Oh, okay. So uh, she's one of those that don't never stop as far as. Oh, 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 count it. Con says, get on my back. I'm going to lead you to the promised land here as uh, she has a chance to score her fifth point of the night right here. You know, Norman. There it is. Yeah, you know, we said the whole game, you know, she should be bringing the ball at the floor and you see what happens when they put the ball in her hand. Yep. And now, uh, Colgrove, I mean, she's won some championships this, uh, this AAU season. Seen them doing the run in the ocean there after they won uh, one. I, I'm wanting to say they were at Virginia Beach, if I'm okay. not mistaken. You know, AAU, you, you know, if you listen to our uh, grind session show, I always say it's a necessary evil. Yeah. You know, it's a, something that's necessary, but I'm not a big fan of it. You know, the, uh, but, you know, it does get these uh, girls more court time, more experience, and it's paying off for Miley Cogrove as she yeah. nets both the free throws there. 13 to 5. Yeah, you you will uh, you will notice that I mean Colgrove plays I mean ball I mean she don't stop. Yeah, Norman gets it up. Con 
Dribbles around the screen. She's looking for help. Belfry with the steal. Woolham slings up a shot. No good. That's number 32. Kylie Rogers. Yeah. It'll be Belfry's ball under their own basket here. I see Deskins inbounding the ball here for the Pirates. Swings good it steal in. Good by Wales. Yep. Yeah. Go kicks it up court. Right now you gotta get it out. Yep. There you go. You know, there's two ways to beat a press, Norman. You know, dribble through it or throw over it. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's one thing they're, you know, I, I think they need to do here is, you know, not so much uh, dribble. You know, what I mean, take and use your teammates, make it spread that Belfry defense out. Colin got her shot blocked by Colgrove. Yep. Chapman with the shot. Oh. Yep, Wales with another board. Wollum ain't scared to shoot it. No. It's going to be a jump ball. I know that Norman and Colin have got to be tired. They just played one whole game, never Got a chance to get a breather, and now here they are having to play another whole game. Yep. I know that's got to be hard. See what Belfry does here. Kicks it in. Oh. Don't get Wells for that one. Yep. You're going to have Cogrove, I think, going for the one on one here. Lester coming in the ball game here for the Pirates. You see Coach Thornsbury. Tell you what, Macy Lester is a heck of a softball catcher. Short on that one, Norman with a rebound. Goes the other way, she's good job by Woolen turning Norman here. Sign of great defense. You know, and you, and you can just tell Woolham, you know, that's the tough part about it is because uh, her, you know, Woolham's forcing Norman to burn much more energy yep. getting the ball up the floor. That's why I say, you know, Norman's one of your more effective offensive players. I mean, I'm not, I'm not letting her bring the ball up and expanding all that energy. You know, I'm keeping Con as the primary ball handler coming up the floor. Save her and Wells' energy for the offensive end down here. Well, caught a foul there. I don't know who they thought he said 13, but I don't see a 13, so maybe 23. Carly Stanley says, let's go, Belfry. Let's go, JC, she says. That's a tough one, too, for her. <laughs> her cousins, I mean, yeah. they're, they're cousins, and she's a, she's a former Belfry Pirate herself. Brenda phillips is watching from Florida. She says, go Pirateful. And JC John Meads, because I've seen some very talented girl teams so far this season. It's very exciting to be in, uh, it's going to be an exciting year. I love what Coach Meads is doing over there at Valley. Norman, a little hard on that one off the back iron. Here comes Cogrove. Cogrove pushing the ball up the floor. And there's that Hizzy again. Chapman grabs the rebound. Wells. Gets it to Norman. She splits the defense, kicks it over to Wells. Back to Khan. She throws it up. No good. She rushed that one. She yep. just put the ball on the floor and went. I Daskin's think, coming with a head of steam. I think she thought there was less time on the good job. Who was that, Chapman or Colgrove? I believe that was Colgrove, if I'm not mistaken. Good job by Colgrove smothering the ball handler. Norman. Grabs the rebound. They're going to get Cocro with the foul, I think. And you can see uh, Coach Thornsbury asking her, why? You know, I need you out there, you know. <laughs> yep. Now, you're looking at a 15-5 lead right now for Belfry over Pikeville here on Middle School Monday, sponsored by Cezanne Mexican Restaurant, Southside Steakhouse, Cocro Funeral Home, and Mingo County Family Wellness Center. 
And Daryl, I mean, I know of at least five or six free throws they've missed. I mean, there's number seven. <laughs> oh, they've so. missed way more than that. Yeah. Yeah, I was just trying I, I, to think yeah. off the top I, of my head. I, 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 they've, missed more, they've missed ten or more free throws. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that's why I tell you win ball games right here. They, they got to do a better job. Because you got to think, I mean, they're in the double bonus right now, and they've been the last three times, I think. So they've shot more than 10 free throws, and here they go again. Got a lane yeah. violation on Wollum. Missed all three. Yeah. Wollum, step back three. All right, it's Colgrove. Or Colgrove, sorry. Yeah. Wollum fighting for it over here. Yeah, I know if I'm J.C. Norman, one thing I'm going to do uh, – Next practice is I'm going to stay after and I'm going to shoot about 100 free throws. There you go. Norman bringing the ball to the floor. Yeah, she throws up a prayer. No good. 15 to 5. We're going to take a quick break. We will be right back here on the D&D Sports Network Middle School Monday. When you lose a loved one, you want to be able to grieve in peace without having to worry about that heavy funeral home bill over your head. Come see us at Cove Grove Funeral Home and let us help you through your trying times. Gracie and Tate merchandising has become a staple here in the Danville and Madison community. They'll make sure you find that treasure that's been eluding you. Everything you need under one roof. New items at discounted prices right here at Gracie and Tate Merchandising. Go Skyhawks! Come on down to Three Guys Pizza and Brew in Williamson, West Virginia. We're located on the corner of Harvey Street and 3rd Avenue. We got great deals on pizzas, sandwiches, and more. Get great service with great pricing. Enjoy your birthday or ball games with us here at Three Guys Pizza and Brew. Look forward to seeing you. Trailhead Bar and Grill in Maplewood, West Virginia is making sure trail riders and locals are staying happy and full. One thing's a guarantee at Trailhead is great food and great service. Come watch your favorite ball game, have a party, or we'll host your events at Trailhead Bar and Grill. Proud supporter of the Mingo Central Miners and all mountain athletes. This is Bruce Walters from Bruce Walters Kia. By now you know Kia is a great vehicle and you know they come with a 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty. So why should you buy from Bruce Walters Kia? At Bruce Walters Kia, we're gonna change your oil for free for life. And what you do with that money you save is up to you. Come check out the 2022 Kia Carnival and the 2021 Kia Sorento. Only at Bruce Walters Kia in Pikeville or shop us online at brucewalterskia.com. You're looking for the best Mexican restaurant in Mingo County. Stop by Cezanne in Williamson, West Virginia. We got great service and great food, and we look forward to taking care of you. Come see us at Cezanne. If you're looking for a great selection and a great experience for your next Harley-Davidson, come on down to Mount State Harley-Davidson here in Del Barton, West Virginia. We have new 2023 models in stock and ready for delivery. Special financing available. Or choose pre-owned with one of the largest inventories in the tri-state area with great low prices. Visit our showroom filled with licensed Harley-Davidson apparel and more. Don't write that check until you check with us, Mountain State Harley-Davidson, 61 Priest Bottom Road, or visit us online at mountainstatehd.com. Looking for a great selection, great prices, and a great experience on your next ATV, motorcycle, or side, side Come check out Kiefer's Kawasaki. Our number one goal is to offer you the best power sport experience at a great price. Like this, new 23 Kawasaki Terex 4 for only $17,999. Before you write that check, check with us. And remember, your adventure starts here at Kiefer Kawasaki. Route 44 South, Jerry West Highway in Logan, or visit Kiefer'sPowerSports.net.
When you lose a loved one, you want to be able to grieve in peace without having to worry about that heavy funeral home bill over your head. Come see us at Cogrove Funeral Home and let us help you through your trying times. Looking for a great selection, great prices, and a great experience on your next ATV motorcycle? Mingo County Family Wellness Center provider Amy Cogrove and their new provider Caitlin Alley specialize in primary care services. They do offer DOT physicals, treatment for diabetes, COPD, treat anxiety and depression, hypertension, and many more primary care needs. They have also added new services like weight loss with semaglutide injections and lipomino shots. So stop by today for all your medical needs. We look forward to seeing you. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. Back here in Pond Creek, Kentucky, as we got Belfry and Pikeville in a good old fashioned rivalry game. And right now, it's not much of a rivalry as Belfry's sitting on a 10 point advantage, 15 to 5, over the Pikeville Panthers. Yeah. And Daryl, I mean, honestly, Pikeville could be up. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they, I mean, they've left, you know, they've left 12 to 15 points at the free throw line. Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, I, I want to know. I'm going to go when we, uh, after this ball game, I'm going to go over there and look at the book. I, I'm just interested to see because, yeah. uh, you know, that's that's something, you know, got to work on. I mean, my kid included. I mean, mm -hmm. she's missed a bunch. But. Yeah. As we're sitting here, the uh, you're looking the uh, at a lot of people tuning in here, Middle School Monday, make sure you guys – Hit that like and share button. You frequent the businesses you see, and let us know in the comment section where you're watching from and who you're rooting for. Jason Norman, Daryl McCoy, guys, if you would like to see more middle school action, make sure you let us know what games you'd like to see us at. And uh, hopefully we can get the businesses in that area to make that happen. So uh, we want to thank Co-Grove Funeral Home, Mingo County Family Wellness Center, Southside, Steakhouse and Cezanne Mexican Restaurant for sponsoring tonight's action. Cogrove kicks it out to Deskins. Deskins swings it over. Good ball movement. Really good ball movement. Lester. Oh, good yes. fake. That's a good fake by Macy. Yeah, a little hard. Cogrove gets the shot off, and she's going to get a chance to get a couple here at the free throw line. Now, Miley's one that's not going to miss free throws. I don't want to jinx her, but. Well, she don't miss much of nothing. I know one thing. I'm going to take her to uh, Hillbilly Days with me next time <laughs> the, uh, and let her win uh, my daughter some stuffed animals. go Belfry's gonna get the ball back another turnover by the Panthers Deskins inbound the ball here for the Pirates she gets it down to the block no good good defense uh, Deskins tiptoes got the line there Oh, no, yeah. sorry, that's Kylie Rogers, my bad. Yeah. That's going to be a pikeful ball. Norman inbounding the ball here for the Panthers. Gets it to Con. Con sets the or Norman sets the screen for Con. They're going to call the foul on Lester. It's 
going to be Pikeville's ball on the side. Now Wales is free. She's got a wolf behind her and it's going to be knocked out of bounds. Pikeville, they're getting the ball up the floor one way or the other, but Belfry racking up the fouls in the process. I wonder if that's Colgrove's third or fourth. I think that's not sure. Norman gets it to Con. She's calling for it at the high post area. And it's going to be out of bounds. It's a little high on the pass there. 16 to 5 is the score. 311 to go here in the third quarter. Jason Norman, Daryl McCoy, Belfry, Pikeville. Belfry leads 16 to 5 over the Panthers. Cogrove will go back to the charity stripe here. Cogrove doing what Pikeville isn't doing, and that's knocking their down their free throws. Yep. Colgrove's had a heck of a ball game, Daryl. She has. She's adding to her total there. Got a pretty looking shot. Yep. Ball stolen by Woolen. Woolen throws it up. No good. Cogrove. Rim that one in and out. They're going to get Norman for stepping on the line. The momentum carried her over the baseline. Rogers going to get called for the carry. Or is that, is that Rogers? Yep. Yeah. yeah, you ain't going to do that in front of Dennis. No, Might he, have got by with it with any other official <laughs> in the 15th region, but not Dennis. He's Johnny on the spot on that. <clears throat> Here we go. Ball's back in play. Con gets it over to Norman. Norman puts the ball on the floor, and she's going to draw the foul. Norman has done a fabulous job of getting to the line. Now she's just got to take advantage of these opportunities because it's clear she does a great job getting there. First one is up. This is that one. Jeff Coleman says, go Kyler Kong. Carly, uh, or Carla Castle Sight says, hey guys, how you doing? The, uh, let us know how you and the family's doing. Carla, we uh, sure miss you guys. That's the mother of Sammy Sites. I took uh, took uh, JC over there to work out with Sammy. Sammy uh, knows what she's doing, man. Back when my son was in seventh or eighth grade, uh, Sammy would work him out regularly, and uh, she knows. I mean, she can coach boys or girls. Yeah. We got a timeout on the floor. They're gonna take one. We will too. We'll be right back. Middle school Monday on the D and D Sports Network. Looking for a great selection, great prices, and a great experience on your next ATV, motorcycle, or side by side? Come check out Kiefer's Kawasaki. Our number one goal is to offer you the best power sport experience at a great price. Like this, new 23 Kawasaki Terex 4 for only $17,999. Before you write that check, check with us. And remember, your adventure starts here at Kiefer Kawasaki. Route 44 South, Jerry West Highway in Logan, or visit Kiefer'sPowerSports.net. If you're looking for a great selection and a great experience for your next Harley-Davidson, come on down to Mount St. Harley-Davidson here in Del Barton, West Virginia. We have new 2023 models in stock and ready for delivery. Special financing available. Or choose pre-owned with one of the largest inventories in the tri-state area with great low prices. Visit our showroom filled with licensed Harley-Davidson apparel and more. And we're back here. 18 to 5 is the score. Belfry all over. Pikeville here in this one as Norman gets the inbound pass. Good defense right now. By Belfry. Wells chases down the ball. Wells looking for help. Swings it over to Con. Good defense by Wallen. Belfry sitting back in his zone here. Good anticipation by Daskins there. Yeah, you know, I mean, and if you look, 
the middle of that defense is wide open. You know, if they would take and set Wells or Norman in the middle of that paint, I have a feeling that they get a couple open looks. And you got Molly Maynard in the game. You know, she we talked about her being Matt and uh, Mark Booby Maynard's niece, but she is also the niece of D and D co owner, David Jones. Number 11, that's Jazz Lee Taylor. Oh, here comes Cogrove. Swings it up floor. Good job. Kicks it back out. Oh, yeah! Woolen. I gave her credit for a two there. Yeah, she, she may have had a foot on the line. Tell you what, that girl is a rising superstar. I promise you one thing. That girl, she wants to, she will be playing next level basketball. Norman, Norman. she yeah. missed it. She finally got a clean look, couldn't capitalize. Woolen. Oh. Yeah, she misses the bunny on that one. They're going to get a travel on the Pirates. Pirateful will retain possession here. Taking her time, they swing it over. That's Dempsey. To the left side, Con. Now who's 11? That's uh, Jazzy Taylor. Okay. Ooh, her good. sister. Oh yeah. She's. If I'm not mistaken, Daryl, her sister is uh, Riley Toss. Okay, yeah, well, I was getting ready to say, yep. I come one hair to say, and she looks like Riley Tice. Yeah, <laughs> I believe that is yeah, Riley Tice's I, little sister, so. I, I would say you're probably correct in that, just uh, going by the eye test. I see some resemblance. Maynard with the shot, mm -hmm. off the mark, rebound by Dempsey. Norman hits the deck. She needs help, and it's stolen away. Maynard and Chapman all over there. They, they called a foul? Yep. I think they called the foul on Lester, if I'm not mistaken. 36 seconds to go here in the third quarter, Pikeville. Got to get some points on the board if you're Pikeville. Yeah, they're trailing by 15 here. They got to find a way to get a basket in a hurry. <laughs> Molly gets the steal, gets it up to Woolen. Woolen back over to Maynard. Molly. Couldn't control it. Turnover by Maynard. Good golly, Miss Molly, Coach Thornsbury says. Fourteen seconds left to go. Pike will needs a basket. In the worst way. There goes Norman. She goes baseline. She's usually pretty good at that. Couldn't get that one to fall. Here comes Woolen the other way. Oh, and she's going to miss that one at the buzzer. We will go into the final period of play. It is Belfry all over Pikeville here, 20 to 5 in this one. You're watching D&D Sports Network, Middle School Monday. You're looking for the best Mexican restaurant in Mingo County. Stop by Cezanne in Williamson, West Virginia. We got great service and great food, and we look forward to taking care of you. Come see us at Cezanne. Hi everybody, Dave Baker here for Citizens Bank of Kentucky. Do you want to love your car even more? How about putting extra cash in your pocket each month by refinancing with new low rates at CBK? It is fast, it's easy, all you have to do is log on to wearecitizens.bank. Mingo County Family Wellness Center provider Amy Cogrove and their new provider Caitlin Alley specialize in primary care services. They do offer DOT physicals, treatment for diabetes, COPD, treat anxiety and depression, hypertension, and many more primary care needs. They have also added new services like weight loss with semaglutide injections and lipomino shots. 
So stop by today for all your medical needs. We look forward to seeing you. When you lose a loved one, you want to be able to grieve in peace without having to worry about that heavy funeral home bill over your head. Come see us at Cogrove Funeral Home and let us help you through your trying times. We're back here in Belfry, Kentucky. Belfry Pikeville rivalry game. We got C team action going here. Last game, Belfry won the thriller with a uh, nil three pointer. And then uh, they've come back in this Oh, Daskins with a yeah. quick basket. Big bucket by Daskins. Nice looking shot on her. The uh, But they've come, Belfry's come back in this one and they have, uh, they have owned uh, the game here since the uh, opening whistle. Norman off the mark on that one. 22 to five is the score. Here comes Maynard. Maynard, good job by Norman. That's a great job, Norman. Yeah, you know, I mean, she missed the three, and she says she's going to make up for it by getting the ball back on defense. Con. Good job. And an open look, couldn't convert. Daskin's pushing the ball. Good look. Wells, Wells grabbed yep. it. Here comes Norman. You know, powerful, showing no quit. Oh, yeah, she got caught for double dribble. Can't have turnovers, Daryl, like that when you're. No. When you're down like this. You know, Norman, don't forget tomorrow night, crunch time with David and Daryl. Tomorrow night, special Tuesday night episode. Make sure you guys. Tune in for that as we get you caught up on all the action, football action from this past Friday and get you prepared for this coming Friday. Con bringing the ball up the floor. When's the last time Pikeville scored, Daryl? The con, <laughs> con free throw on the end one. I'm pretty sure Con's got every point for the Panthers. I believe you're probably right, Daryl. I don't know that anybody else is. Yeah, I don't remember any other one scoring. Two minutes left to go here in this fourth quarter of the C team game. Got B team coming up next. Norman gets it to Wells. Back to Norman. Norman. Has Steal by yep. Maynard. Good job by Molly Maynard. She gets it out to Deskins. Deskins doing a good job getting up the floor. Here comes Kong going back the other direction. And she's going to draw the foul. Good job putting the pressure on the defender there. She had her on her heels, and she ended up drawing the foul there. Got to knock these down. This has been what's going to go down is what's cost, you know, Pikeville this game. Yep. Or being in it yep. a lot closer. Yeah, it cost them from being in it. Yeah. I, I don't know, to be honest, I don't know if there's much of anything they could do in this one. <laughs> you know, Belfry, yep. just their tenacious defense. And the thing is, Coach Thornsbury, he's uh, played uh, Cogrove limited minutes. So, yeah. you know, I mean, it could have been worse. Uh, Coach Cogrove showing a class act here. You know, a lot of coaches that just run the score up, Daryl. Yeah. And that's one thing I do not like. I will tell you that. You, I've seen coaches up by so much, and they just keep on pressing. Norman drives to the basket. Got some subs coming in here. Let me see who we got. Number five for Belfry. That's Ramsey Varney. Let me see if I can get a number on Pike Wool. Number 24, Lily Robinson checking into the ball game. Macy Lester bringing the ball up the floor. Rogers off the mark. Maynard with the ball, shot up. Bingo, Molly Maynard with the basket. 
Norman got the ball, bringing it up the floor. Yeah, 106 to go here in this one, and uh, 24 to 8, barring a miraculous miracle. It's going to be Belfry getting a dub here on this one. And up oh. next, you will have, is it B-team action? Yep, B-team. Yeah. That'll be seventh graders. Molly Maynard adds two to the total. Norman out front. Gibson shot up, no good. They're going to get her with a double yep. dribble. I, they let her by with one there for a second. They weren't going to let her by with two. 26 seconds left here. Belfry up 26 to eight. Number 25 in for Pockle, that's Sophie Akers. Number, trying to see if that's number 14. Or, sorry, number 24 is Lily Robinson. Trying to make sure I'm not missing anybody. Norman's down. She seems to be hurt. Don't know what happened there. I think she was trying to save the loose ball and tried to catch herself with her hands. And they're going to have three seconds to go. Great job. I tell you, that young lady you know, it, it's not going to show up, but the effort she gave tonight is something that uh, is definitely applaudable. She, uh, she, she come and you know, Pikeville or Belfry. It was clear they was keying on her. They wasn't going to let her beat them, and they wasn't going to let her be uh, be a high producer in this game. And. Uh, you know, they keyed in on her, and she had a rough night, you know, yeah. and that, that's what's going to happen when, you, when you're a good player like her. You know, there's going to be nights when uh, other coaches are just going to key their defense on you, and that's what, uh, what happened here. And Belfry walked out with a 26-8 lead here in B-team action, or uh, in C-team action. Daryl, real quick, uh, Dr. Cotty over there, he works at PMC. He came down there and checked on JC. I want to tell you something. That man has went above and beyond for her. You know, she had a some wrong with her knee, and mm -hmm. he seen her, uh, took her right in, took care of her. So big shout out to Dr. Cotty. I, I appreciate everything he's done for her. And they, uh, you know, if she has any uh, any lingering problems, she can make sure she goes to. Mingo County Family Wellness Center and let Amy Cogrove take care of her because they are a proud supporter of today's game as well as Cogrove Funeral Home and Cezanne Restaurant, Mexican Restaurant, and Southside Steakhouse. You're watching Middle